Good morning, it's another beautiful sunny summer morning and day. We have quite a bit going on today. We have our first guest coming for several nights in a few days. And so I have a few details I wanna get done in our little cottage. As you can tell, it is live. So if you wanna just look at it, if you were interested in staying, you can check out the website at www.parkviewcottage.com or it's on Airbnb as well, just located in Viberg, South Dakota. So you can definitely go look at that if you are interested just to view it or if you're interested in coming to stay at our little cottage. So I'm so excited to have our first guest. I want to get some cookies made, put some fresh flowers in there, just make sure everything is kind of spruced up and cleaned up a little bit um, with it having been empty for a few weeks after we finally finalized it. We also need to take care of a few other things like just some outdoor stuff, um, take care of some kitchen things like taking care of my kombucha behind me and just bringing you along on whatever this day brings. So it's a very full day. We've already had our breakfast, got that cleaned up, played a while. My littlest is already down for a morning nap. So Nevaeh and I are going to probably head outside and play slash water plants. So let's come along for a fun full day. All right, I got two scobies off that, so I'll just put those back in the fridge till I make again. And I just put fresh strawberries in those. I'll let them sit for a couple days, put a nice airtight lid on it. This one's just plain, so I'll let those sit out for a couple more days and they'll be ready to drink. And then I'll probably make some more or share one with a friend. You kind of just get to be scoby factories after you make a few because they double every time. Okay, one more thing I needed to make was some more vanilla. So this takes a while to actually make, several, several months. So I'm just going to get some going here. Put it in my new thrifted jar. I'm gonna put a couple vanilla beans in here. Just add vodka. All of that. All of that one, yep. All right, so now I'll just store this away for three or four months till I think it doesn't have a vodka-y taste anymore and then we'll be able to have some. You gonna pick a few mulberries? <laughs> yeah. Look at all of those, yummy. Beautiful purple berries. And those delicious. <laughs> Mm. 
Lunch today is going to be rather random. Um, the girls are having some quesadillas and then my husband will have some leftovers we had and I'm using some salad, some garden lettuce and some garden radishes. No other produce from the garden quite yet, but that'll be super delicious with maybe some goat cheese on it and some ham we have left too. So I'm here over at our little cottage. There were a few things I needed to do, like fill the salt and pepper shakers, little things like that that I hadn't done. And I also went and picked up our local newspaper to have out on the table for them to peruse if they're interested. I need to, I'm gonna put a little fresh fruit out, put that out. I need to do the cut flowers still. I did wipe some things down already and then, um, I think that's about it. So it's pretty much ready for our first guest. And I'm just gonna show you one more time what it looks like. We did add a couple new things and I didn't show you like the behind the scenes when I gave you the reveal, some of the things that aren't quite as cute, but I'll give you a little tour here. Okay, so just real quick, there's the door, table, chairs, TV we mounted. It swings out on an arm so it will be visible from the bed. It's a little small, but this space doesn't need a large TV, I don't think, personally. Our mini split unit, here's the living area. You guys have seen that. I am standing in the kitchen right here. Voila, the little fridge, microwave little things to remember too like a place water this area i've never shown it's just a little bench and a coat rack place for wet shoes we hung a little mirror there this piece is new it's a wardrobe i found on marketplace for like 75 dollars i've been looking for something a little bit different um but this works because they can hang that's what we needed a place to hang things clothing things like that because there is no closet area in this little space. And then I just put like the kids toys in that picnic basket and I might add a few more books up there. Then the bed, voila, you've seen that. I guess one more thing in the bathroom that is newer, this shower curtain. I just got it off Amazon. I really like it. It's kind of farmhousey, cottagey with these nice big buttons on it. So that is newer as well. Okay, so let's go cut some flowers to set here on the counter. Tonight I am putting together a little handbook welcome packet for our guests. Nothing too fancy, just some daisies, some Husker Red and some Catmint in a blue mason jar and then we'll put our little welcome packet right there. All right, so I'm gonna spend a little time outside while the girls are napping. I bought some more mint and some salvia, just some regular herb mint. Our local greenhouses are doing like 50% off, so we're buy one, get one free. So I couldn't pass this up. I'm gonna plant it where my spinach was because it's too hot now for spinach and it bolted right away. So I'm gonna put a bunch of mint in there and maybe some salvia in the middle. We'll see and see how that does. Okay, so for supper, we are outside playing in the pool and I prepped some beef kidney. Uh, this is an organ that I wanted to try. There's so many nutrients I've heard of in organs and so we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna make somewhat of a stir fry. So I've already cut the kidney, cut off all like the membrane extra part to it and cut it into chunks. So I'm gonna saute that up, then add some garlic, 
and some olive oil, some onion, and then like my basic stir fry veggies, carrots. I don't have celery. Uh, I have cabbage, put peas in there, probably some frozen broccoli, and just make kind of a stir fry. Put some seasonings on it and put like a sesame oil to probably, I don't know what the kidney tastes like, but it probably needs a few extra herbs and spices, I'm thinking. So that's what the plan is for supper tonight. Something completely different with the beef kidney, but stir fry is kind of a nice go-to for me as well. The audio is like, hand it over. Nabea. You don't need a straw. Daddies. Should I try it? So girls are down and I'm going to water again. When it's so hot, it just sucks the life out of flower pots and other things. So um, also honest review of the kidney. It's different, that is for sure. It's very chewy, has a little bit different texture. So if you're not okay with texture, then it's gonna bug you. It did bug me a little bit. My one-year-old didn't eat it, but she didn't eat anything that we had. My husband said if he had to eat it, he would eat it. So not our favorite, but we made it. So that's okay, we tried it out. So yeah, I'm gonna take care of watering. I usually do that morning and night when it's really hot and humid. So I'm gonna do that. And my husband's finishing some things over at our cottage as well. Just again, like I said, some final little details that we needed to get done right before guests came. So hope you enjoyed coming along today and just spending the day with us. <laughs>